Good morning, everybody. Uh, I am Dr. Sudha Ratna Prabhu. I am a pediatric metabolic specialist who is uh, in charge of the rarer but actually common metabolic disorders in children. So, many people do not know what exactly is pediatric metabolic disorders. Metabolism means what happens in every cell in our body. So, without metabolism, none of us can grow. So, this speciality mainly concentrates on how our body derives energy from which food and what will happen if that food is not digested properly. So, another big question is whether all metabolic disorders are hereditary. No, not at all. Some are hereditary while some are acquired much later in life. So, why are we so bothered about this metabolic disorders entity in pediatric age group? This is because if we detect early, we can treat them and help them to become normal adults. So, what are the common disorders we are talking about? Can we treat all? No, we cannot treat all the disorders which we know of, but we can definitely treat some and prevent some others. Say for example, thyroid problems. Congenital hypothyroidism is the most common treatable and preventable cause of mental impairment in children. So, this is going to be both treatable and preventable. So, how do we do it? We advise routine newborn screening of all the babies who are born to detect it early. So, many people are not aware that a thyroid problem is very very dangerous for both physical growth as well as mental growth of our mankind. So, iodine deficiency which is the most common cause of thyroid problems is one which can be easily prevented and treated. In case we are not Accepting any dietic changes, we can of course at least help our future generations to be free of the disease. How? Do your newborn screening for your babies and protect them and prevent them from a mental impairment which can be devastating. And with India being the most populous next to China, you will not believe Every day we are having about 2500 to 2600 births in which some part of India or rather I would say this is with respect to our state of Tamil Nadu based on our ICMR study in which every day 3 to 4 babies are born with a thyroid problem. So, how do we find? So, this is possible only by adopting mandatory newborn screening at least for treatable disorders which is the most common being congenital hypothyroidism.